This lesson is about adjacent and vertical angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common side. Vertical angles are two angles that are crossed from each other uh, by the intersection of two lines, and these angles are what are considered congruent. So when you look at this first diagram, you'll see that if you look at angle ACB, that angle is adjacent, so next to BCE. Adjacent angles have to share this common side. So then when you look at vertical angles, vertical angles, instead of sharing a common side, they are across from one another. So when you look at angle ACB, its vertical angle is angle DCE. Another set of vertical angles would be ACD, and that's vertical to BCE. Vertical angles are congruent, meaning their measurements are equal to one another. You can use vertical angles and adjacent angles to figure out degrees in an angle. So if you look at the next couple examples, we can use these. So if you look at this first one, we have this angle here is angle X, and then this angle is angle 78 degrees. These are adjacent to one another. They're not vertical. So what you can see is that if you put the two angles together, so angle X degrees to angle 78 degrees, they create a straight line. Okay, so if I add those angles up, they're going to create this straight line. Every straight line is 180 degrees. So I can use that and I can create an equation based on that. So if I took angle X, so this angle here, plus angle 78, that angle there, and I put the two of them together, they're going to create a straight line, which is 180 degrees. So I can use this information, set up an equation, and then solve for my variable. So I subtract 78 from both sides. I'll get x is equal to 102. So it's 102 degrees. So in number 4, you can see that you're looking at angle 35 and angle x. They're not next to each other. They're not sharing a side. They have a common intersection here where their vertices touch. So these are considered vertical angles. And then what is significant about vertical angles is the fact that this angle here equals this angle here. So you can literally write x equals 35. And there is no solving in this one, so it is 35 degrees. When you look at number 5, they look like they might be vertical angles because they're kind of drawn with the intersecting lines. But it's talking about this angle here of x plus 20, and then this angle here. Sometimes it's nice to get a colored marker and actually trace the angle so you can see what they're talking about. These two share that common ray, that common side there. So these are what are considered adjacent angles. Adjacent angles you have to put together, and they'll create either 90 degrees like this one or 180 degrees like this. It creates that straight line. So I'm going to literally do what I said there, and I'm going to take x plus 20 plus the 115. So x plus 20 plus the 115, and they are going to create 180 degrees. So I just made an equation based on that information there. So you get x plus 135, because we're going to combine like terms, equals 180. Okay, This one here and this one here, these are like terms. So I can put those together, and then I'm going to take that, and I'm going to subtract 135 from both sides, and I'm going to get x equals 45. So x's value is 45. The measure of this angle is not 45. The measure of this angle is going to be 45, which is what x is, plus the 20. So you're going to get the measure of that angle that you're looking for is 65 degrees. So vertical angles are opposite of one another. So if you look at this angle here in this problem and this angle here, these are considered vertical. So they equal one another. 
these angles here, so this one, this one, and this one, they all share common sides. So when you add all these up, it's going to be 180. Those are what are considered adjacent angles. Same with this one here and this one here. These are adjacent angles. This plus this is going to give you 90 degrees.